And continuing our team coverage now on the downpours making their way through the area, Dewey Avenue in East Providence saw quite the scene today. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill has been talking with neighbors in that neighborhood, but right now she's taking a live look at the road conditions for us. Yeah, Sheena, well, let's take a live look at the roads. Now, as you can see, the rain is coming down as we drive into Providence across Rhode Island as well, and we're headed over to where parts of Route 95 are flooded. But earlier, as you said, we were on Dewey Avenue in East Providence hearing from those impacted by this flooding. Homeowners of Dewey Avenue in East Providence frustrated with the constant flooding on their street. Well, I need a pit in our stomach every time we look at the weather. Sunday evening, the water could be seen going up past the sidewalk towards their homes and up to their knees. Sharice Cooper has lived on Dewey Avenue for 23 years. She tells me she has put about $27,000 into redoing her basement year after year, and it's only getting worse. We're hardworking people, but if something needs to be done. We're losing furniture. We're losing people who lost out photo albums in their basements, maybe things that they can't replace. It's sad. She tells me it's so bad they cannot park their cars on the street, worrying that they might get stuck. And they've paid out of their own pocket to put up these orange cones to keep people from driving down their road. And the city is not putting the police officers out here like they should. Every now and then, maybe a police officer. Cherise says they're asking Mayor Bob De Silva for help. He was seen in the neighborhood Sunday. The mayor telling 12 News he hears the concerns. First, we looked to see if there were any breaks in the pipes. There aren't any, any clogs, no clogs. So we're looking at actually this week coming up, we're going to be adding some more catch basins to hopefully increase the capacity of the catch basins. Uh, we're hoping that helps, uh, but I'm not sure if that's going to be the, the answer. And the flooding, not just on the road. One neighbor showed us her backyard completely flooded, submerging her garden, making her property completely unusable. She says it usually takes three days for the water to go down. See this? This is not right. This is not real. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have to live in this. Now we're told parts of Route 10 and 95 are back open, but we'll continue to keep you updated both on air, on the web. Back to you, Sheena.